This is what being poor looks like. <laughs> Mush it or something, make it better. What you make? Beans and cream corn. Ooh, cream corn. The value of cream corn. <laughs> no, man, that's Kenny's cream corn. Value? What, that's discount cream corn? Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. I have until then to come up with that. Or that's it for phone, internet, and uh, cable. And I don't want phone, and I can't get rid of it for some reason. We've unplugged it because of all the telemarketers. I've got a notice of cancellation for my car insurance. Our coffee machine isn't working anymore. Maybe Bed and Bath will be nice to us and let us exchange it for a new one, I hope. Yesterday, me and I were talking about that saying, money can't buy happiness. I have to say... I beg to differ. I have to say, I, I could be a little happier with a little more money. Well, money can't buy happiness if you're just a miserable person no matter what, but if the fact that you're so damn poor is why you're unhappy, I, I think having some money can help you out a little bit. As I've said in earlier vlogs, I had to get rid of health insurance because I can't afford that anymore. It goes up every year. It went from 129 to, I think, 515 by the time I said that's enough. Never been to the doctor, never been to the hospital. I'm not on any medication or any health problems, no pre-existing conditions, nothing. That's just what they kept raising it to. So that, that was the end of that. My bank charges me $10 a month because I'm poor. I get late fees for all the things I can't afford to pay on time. Oh, I have to pay my student loan. I just got an urgent notice. I also got a recall notice for my car. My car does this terrible wobbling thing when it drives on the freeway. So the recall notice has to do with it being a, as they call it, back east car, which means there is corrosion and rust on the bottom from salt and snow and ice and that kind of stuff. Enough about us. How is everybody in, on the other side of the camera? What are you guys up to? It's been about a week since I posted a video, so I wanted to post something. I haven't posted anything in the last week because it's all been not so much fun stuff. Or stuff we just can't talk about. Right. Oh, we did see prostitutes. Oh my god, they are. Holy crap. Are they coming here? Is she coming? No, we had to deliver something about a week ago, late at night. It was 3 o'clock in the morning when we, by the time we got out. And we actually saw in a couple different areas actual prostitutes. I've never seen that before. Have you? No. It's exciting. We are leaving in a month for New York, so I'm really excited about that. I should say we are really excited about that. And I'm hoping to do daily vlogs while we're there, or as close to it as possible. Unfortunately, our trip to the East Coast is specifically to get all the rest of my stuff from having grown up in New Jersey, which is in the basement of my dad's office, which he is selling, so I have to go get all my stuff and bring it back here, which is exactly the opposite of what we want to do. We want to be moving all of our stuff back there. Well, we want to have less stuff to move back there and more money. Instead, we're using I would call it auxiliary money <laughs> yeah. to fund this trip to go and bring the rest of my stuff here. So I guess another setback. I didn't post yesterday's vlog, but I think I have to steal this clip of us driving to uh, the Verizon store to talk about my phone bill. Look at this. What? What is he doing? What is driving he doing? on the wrong side of the road? Oh my God. <gasps> yeah, I'm not sure how he ended up on our side of the road, but it's just more typical L.A. driving. And here's this other clip from uh, coming back at night. God, that's bright. You've got to be kidding. There's no way around. Is this unbelievable? Don't wave at us, move. Someplace else. This is outrageous. Did you ever? Yeah, they just didn't want us to get by, I guess. 
If this video made you really depressed, you can go over to Jerry's video and watch episode 3 of Joe Coudriette. Click here to find out how Joe's job interview goes. <laughs> Will Joe get the job? Find out on an all-new episode of Joe Coudriette. Mia's working on Blurb, right? Howdy, Mia. Hey. You halfway through Sabrina now? Um, yeah, a little more than half. Ooh. Paper. Yes? Nothing, I just said, hey, Bruno. <laughs> you know, Maya. <laughs> I don't know if I got that. Maya goes, hey, Bruno. <laughs> hey, Bruno. How'd you say it? Hey, Bruno. <laughs> she didn't want anything. I wanted to say, hey. <laughs> so, uh, you know, Maya. Oh, and our air condition bill for uh, for last month was almost $1,000. I don't know how we're going to pay that, but whatever. Right? Whatever. I've already paid that. I don't know how I'm going to pay a rent. Oh, okay. So, yeah. But, yeah, that was my rent. <laughs> All right. So, we paid the air conditioning bill. We... Yeah. Well, here, here's my challenge to somebody who's, like, really, really, really rich and thinks that money can't buy happiness. Mm -hmm. I challenge you to give us that money, and we'll show you that it could make us happy. Can we do, like, one of those PayPal donation buttons, Maya? I don't know, but we should do that and, and people can take us up on the challenge. And we'll, we'll prove that we can be like really rich and not become depressed and turn to drugs or crash our Ferraris into uh, mailboxes in Brentwood and stuff like that. Right? Yeah, I think I can manage that. I don't even think I'd buy a Ferrari. I'd just buy some more toys maybe. <laughs> I'm procrastinating, which is why I'm still here and blabbing. So I must go because I actually have work to do. I'm, I'm still here, you see. But I'm winding down. I'm saying goodnight. No, you're not. Yes, I clearly am, Mia. <laughs> no, you're not. Mia, why aren't... I, I'm interrupting. Yeah, yeah, why aren't you doing Sabrina, honey? Because I'm distracted. Oh, you do Sabrina immediately. Mia, yeah. stop that yawning. You're making everybody else yawn. Mia. What are they talking about? Oh, about leaving. I mean, going to bed. Yes, anyway. Thank you for watching and goodnight.